This is part 9 of our Link Between Worlds walkthrough. We're just uh, pretty much continuing our exploring of Hyrule. Yeah, <laughs> I think I, we don't make the Tower of Hair until actually part 12, like we said. We, so we still got yeah. three more parts of just collecting May Mays, heart collecting pieces. heart pieces, um, maybe a bottle over the next couple of parts. We do got, I think, five heart pieces in this part, though. So it's a least, lot. Of, well, you know, if you can get an extra heart, you know, an extra heart container exactly. for the next dungeon, why not do it? Plus, we do get about, <laughs> it's got to be like 30 May Mays before we get to this. It's a lot. Well, man, there's 100 in the game, and this yeah. one of those things. Things like, and yeah, it's fun collect them a little bit. Yeah, but just a hundred too many. It is. It is. It's just like uh, the uh, Skulltulas in Ocarina of Time. Oh, a hundred so too many. many. So at least you get a reward for all your hey, mayonnaise. It's not as bad as Mage Cap though. You got like hundred thirty <laughs> figurines and like then you a thousand. I think, I think you had like a thousand and fifty Kinstone fusions or something yeah. like that. That's around that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I rounded that a little bit up. <laughs> now I will say I'm a big fan Hated. of. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, know, I already know what you're going to say. Go going. ahead. I liked coming back to one of the very first areas of the game. Mm -hmm. Obviously, this is where we first went into the sanctuary and met. Uh, I forgot. Uh, the, the, yeah, the priest. The priest. The priest. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> series. Series. <laughs> you have forgotten series. I name forgot that numerous times. times. <laughs> I would not have picked her up at the bar. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> no, you wouldn't have. She would have brushed me off about. Four or if you would have taken her home, she would never talk to her oh, again after that. Never. Guys. Never. <laughs> you start naming oh. all those names. <laughs> That's serious. Have that Ted moment. Start naming every game I can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, I kind of like going back to that opening area. Just it's not often you do that, and like going back there with your new ability to, to merge with the walls. Uh -huh. I thought for them to hide a heart piece there was kind of clever. I hate it because I never got that heart piece. <laughs> I never thought to go back there because you really don't. You have one of those in Laurel that there you got to go through, but like you never really had to go back through that one ever again for no, anything. So. No. I think I saw it because I was just exploring the first time. Probably, yeah. And I completely forgot about it after the, uh, what's it, the Eastern Palace. I feel like that happens a lot, though. You, like, you see something, and you're like, yeah. okay, I will come back to this later, well, and then you never do. When I play Zelda games now, I write that stuff down. Yeah. Like, I started doing that because, I would, like I said, I would forget stuff like that at the beginning of games or after I passed it and never think to go back. What helps, though, with this game, though, they did let you put a pin on the map. I never used that. Oh, you never used that? No, I, I'm a guy. I don't need directions. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm, I'm also the one who's sitting here saying in freaking uh, in uh, uh, Phantom Hourglass, I, I draw everything on the map. Yeah, okay, that, that was cool. I did draw on the Phantom Hourglass map, but no, yeah. this one, I no, I did not use the pins actually at all because I would put one on there and just completely forget what it's was like, on why there. Is that for, yeah. <laughs> I need to be able to click on the pin and like have a note for it. That's a description. I wonder if you could awesome. do that. Do you know if you could do that or not? Or I is doubt it just it. a pin? I think you can just drop it. Okay. That would be amazing if you could though. That's a good idea. It, Nintendo, call us. We got an idea. I knew our kid. Like, you know what? I love coming back to the Lost Woods though because we just don't spend that much time in it. And it's kind of the same thing with Links to the Past. Like, That's so true. You really just go in there to get the Master Sword. So it's kind of just cool right here, like walking around, just exploring a little bit, just seeing Lost Woods before you go over to Low Rule. Because we do actually go to just about every little area of mm -hmm. it here to get the the, the May Mays. Yeah, uh, May Mays. May Mays. May Mays. Sorry. Uh -huh. To uh, just to get those. And now that was that is one thing. Like yeah, there were a hundred of them. But yeah. Like, it kind of was cool. Like, it did take you to every area of the map because yeah. I know there's one in Low Rule. It's, like, in the very corner of the map. Oh, and, yeah. like, that's all there is up there. So, like, you know, there's really no point. Why would like, you ever go there? Yeah, why would you ever go there? But there's a main base. So, yeah. I mean, I guess it did help in that sense. I did love going back and hearing that old Lost Woods music, too, though. I was always a big fan of the Lost Woods music. Oh, like, I think everybody. What's serious serious song is it, too? Or Saria song? Is it the same thing? No. They changed well, it once they got to Ocarina of Time. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And then right. they kept that one, like, or at least a versions of it almost uh -huh. all the way through. So I loved going back and hearing like the original Lost yeah, World. That was a Link to the Past one, wasn't it? Yeah. Like same one? Yeah. It makes sense. Same Link. <laughs> so, now I remember like, that was like a pain in the butt in Link to the well, wasn't a pain in the butt, but that was one of the most frustrating things about Link to the Past was there's those two bushes right there, oh. that little fencing area, and there was nothing. No! And no. it always felt like there should be something. So at least in this game, they gave us a May May. Speaking of weird places to find something, Hey, why is there a rock That's on so this clever. person's roof? That's so clever, man. Like, it took me a while to find that one because yeah. those stupid things are chirping like crazy. And I'm oh, like, I hate that. For some reason, I thought it was just the uh, chimney, like the chimney uh, pipe or stack oh. or whatever you want. Chimney stack, I think is what they're yeah. called. Yeah, I thought it was just that. I didn't even think it was a rock when I first looked at it. I didn't either. I don't think I ever got that that particular may to be honest. Yeah, so I'm, just, I'm probably... I know the first time I did not get all 100 of them. Because I saw you, when I was kind of prepping for this video, I, I saw you picking up that cuckoo. I'm like, where's he going with this thing? And then I saw you jump to the other house. I'm like, that is really clever. Well, that's one thing I should never think about using is a cuckoo to fly like off the ledges like, to get on top of houses. I just never did that. There's no reason to. Why, we why? never really used it. <laughs> well, actually, you couldn't fly with cuckoo in like the past, could you? 
I don't think he could. I don't believe you so. You could kill them, I know that. Well, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. used in the fly. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. You exactly know right. squad's coming to get you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, like, right here, like, um, you don't have to get, like, all these May Mays, but... Yeah. I mean, it's just one of those things. There's a hundred of them. They will get you weapon upgrades later on, so... Once you have enough money to buy the weapons, yeah, it, it's really yeah. good to have them. Like I said, like, this is definitely a let's play because we're kind of just, like, fooling around, but we also, like... It's also a walkthrough. We're going to get as, as we, as we said, everything. so... It's kind of just one of those things I wanted to get out of the way so yeah. I didn't have to worry about later on. And one thing I know I've complained about is, like, I just wish in this game and Link to the Past that we would have spent more time in a uh, high roll. Oh, you know, yeah. We just spent enough time, so I was like, well, you know, I'll click this main base. We're going spin. to in the next few parts, that's you know, for sure. <laughs> I wanted to collect them before I went to low roll, is what I'm saying. Plus, the biggest reason that I wanted to collect them is because... I hate that squeaking noise they make when they're like when you're. It doesn't bother me that much. I, I oh. kind of mean I did like that they had though. It tells you at least. Yeah, that uh -huh. there. But it just gets so annoying. I thought that I'm like the more we collect early, the less we have to hear that. Yeah, noise. <laughs> sure. I, I honestly I did not mind that whatsoever. I, I tell you what, I hate this game though. <laughs> I never. I think I tried this once and I was like, I'm not doing this. Yeah. this game is stupid and. Really, the key is just to finish in less than one second because Which is tough. I think it's like a triple multiplier. Because you so, get the rupees. Yeah, yeah. you get 100 rupees to get the heart piece. And so, if you get under a second, which I actually use a timer on my phone for smart. this. Very smart. I wasn't that. counting my head because that'd be about near impossible. I, I, I don't even know if I can count to 30 seconds. Yeah, so I mean, it's really easy. <laughs> well, actually, I got that red rupee. I actually wouldn't have been that close if I didn't get that red rupee. Because you have to get over 100, like you said, right, uh -huh, to get the heart piece. Uh -huh, yeah, you get heart piece. So getting the triple multiplier by getting there under a second yeah. was the, is the best way yeah. to do now it. Now, I think obviously. it won low rule. Like, they had the same game in low rule. I think it's also 100 uh, rupees you have to get. But they spit out, like, a lot more higher uh, domin Which helps, uh, yeah. dominations of yeah. Like, rupees. So. Yeah. Because picking up all those little green ones doesn't do you a whole lot of favors. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, you also got to think. We also have to get the May May right there. So yeah. that took up a little bit of time. So. I'd say it worked out, though, because you got the May May. You got over 100 rupees, and you got the heart piece. Uh -huh. So, I mean, that's a pretty good little two minutes worth now, of time. Now, this is always been an interesting area right here. Like, we got the adventure pouch earlier in this area. But, like, this is an area both in this game and Link to the Past. I wish they would have done more with. Yeah. Now, that's in low, low roll. We do get a little bit something more. Actually, you know what? I'm happy now. I'm happy with, I'm happy with what Lone Wolf does with that area. But I changed right, my mind. Like, thinking back to Link to the Past, all that was there was the uh, the boy that gives you the flute. Yeah, uh-huh. And, and then, like, in the Dark World, you go and you dig up that flute. Yeah. Is that how it worked? I think that's how it, it worked. Something, I, it's been, it's been something like, been yeah, it's been a Yeah. <laughs> We've only played a game ten times, though. I know. But it's like, it's a weird little, like, grove right there. Uh-huh. It's like, I mean, there's... Well, it's the woods, but it's only got one line of trees. Yeah. So somehow that clarifies as a woods. I guess. <laughs> it's no loss. Are words. we still getting May Mays? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I haven't looked at the screen. For I haven't looked at the for a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's what's embarrassing, and I almost even hate to say this. Was how long? Because you've seen get us get a lot of them like off the walls by merging with uh -huh. the wall, then unmerging right behind him. It took me so long to figure out that that's how you get those off. Because <laughs> I was like walking up, hitting A to try to uh -huh. grab them. I was getting out the hook shot, trying to yeah. break them off the wall. That's I, actually not bad. Yeah, I struggled. The hook shot <laughs> should work. Now I don't know, just like with merging with the game, like how it came with the game. I kind of yeah. okay, get behind them and you can kind of pop them off because there's certain areas like where you got it. You're on a cliff on yep. the mountain, and you actually got it. the only way you could do it was to merge. Yeah, and so. it, it, it took me. Like I said, I'm, I'm a little embarrassed to say how long right. it took me to hey, figure I've been embarrassed out. a lot in Zelda. I have fun with the Pegasus boots right there, though, man. Well, plus, I just love being right around. Oh, it's beautiful. The uh, high roll, well, I almost uh, said dark high roll castle. Yeah, it looks uh, like. Kind of does. Kind of has the same feeling too as the uh, Minish Cap one. Exactly, but man, this is just the way they do the these colors soldiers. on the wall. I'm, I'm so sick of these stupid soldiers right here. They give here. you a fit, right? Dude, they were just going crazy. <laughs> well, I only had like a little walkway right there, so I just couldn't get past them. They kept on coming out. The best part about them, though, is though, like you get. Rupees galore from killing oh, those yeah. guys. So well, there's an uh, there's an enemy in the uh, in low rule that we get twenty rupees for every time we kill them. Yep. And man, I kill so many of those Just guys. Load up oh, definitely. Guys. I mean, we've talked about this a little bit before, but man, the rupees are important in this game for once. Yeah. <laughs> now what's like this area right here? Like all these statues. Like you know, obviously it's just a Zelda game. It's not like yeah. history. But like I wonder why all the statues are there and like what they mean. Because we didn't. Do did we get that in Link to the Past? There were some, of some. I mean, there's a lot of statues around this area. There are like, like a face on them and everything. Is it okay, like it's some just, of memorial, like a memorial or something like that? Because this one's got like a whole moat or whatever you want to call yeah, it. Yeah, because it almost looks like a, a castle. But <laughs> is that what's called a moat? Yeah, moat. Okay, right. okay. Because it almost looks a little bit like a cemetery right there, but it's like you're right. Yeah, it's like the like the face kind of looks like more of like you know an old soldier warrior or something like looks that. Looks like something. But either way, this will wrap up part nine of Link Between Worlds.